What's going on guys? Johnny with Blades of Grass Long here. So uh, here's the weekend and um, let me show you what I did real quick. I trim my lower pedalums. Oh, sorry about that. The ghost rooms. These right here are lower pedalums. Okay, my bad. These are the ghost rooms. All right. And what I did was, um, again, trim them front, back, and the top. You know, making them look real nice and, you know, like a wall. And what it does is um, basically it minimizes the traffic noise and it gives me that oops sir I, I do apologize for the uh, the wind noise it gives me that sense of uh you know enclosure in my backyard but um what this video is about today is um how do you deal with ground molds um i've been having a lot of issues with ground molds and the reason i'm having these issues is because of my neighbor over here my neighbor over here and my neighbor over here you know because i'm in a corner lot so <laughs> They, they, they come from over there, over here, and over there. But um, the way I've been dealing with them is I have a fertilizer, insecticide um, schedule that I keep my property on. Um, you know, including our properties that we maintain. But, uh, and basically what I do is I ensure that, you know, I don't, I, I eliminate their, their food their, their food source so that's the way that I'm trying to get rid of them I also use and let me show you real quick here I also use the uh, mold repellent um, and this thing is pretty good. It covers uh, 4,000 square feet and you buy these at the uh, big box stores. And it works pretty good. Um, so every every three months, I, I, I'll spread this out in my backyard and front yard. And you know, it kind of keeps them away from my property. But the issue that I'm having, let me close this real quick. crazy right the issue that I'm having is on the little borders um, like right here you see that yeah I have a little tunnel so what I did is I got this right here mold and gopher uh, poison peanuts so basically the way I do it and, it and it works real well too but let me show you the way I do it I just take this little the end right here and I stick it in there until I feel it peels away right you can feel the tunnel in there and once I get the tunnel Again, I'm trying to do this one-handed, guys. I'll open this up. Put some in here. And then I just kind of close it in. It works for me, you know. Um, let me see if I have another one. I I seldom get them, but I only I don't let me see if I find another one. No, I guess that's it now. But I usually get them like in the borders. And the grass is starting to grow pretty good, guys. By next year, you know, all of that is going to be well uh, covered with grass. But I get them on the border. Um, one thing that I was thinking about was to take, uh, you know, the same thing that I'm spreading here in the middle of my yard and kind of go in there and kind of spreading it. 
just to get rid of them but I would love to know if you guys you know are familiar um, I heard about the uh, the chewing gum thing I've heard about the I even heard about pouring gasoline I, hey, no man I, I'm not gonna mess up my soil with no any any gasoline um, where's another one oh, like you see there there's one yep see it right there But you see, and you notice they stop right here because the poison that I put, there you go. Stick that in there. Open this up. Pour some of this. And then cover it up. Yeah, but if you guys know a way of doing it, um, let me know. Put it in the description below so we can help each other, you know? Because it's crazy, man. I'm Yeah, I'm trying to get them, but no, it is what it is. Hey, listen, and this is to show you, no one's property is 100% uh, mold-free, right? <laughs> Right, guys let me know let me know how you guys deal with these moles man okay all right see you on the next one peace